<laughs> Good evening. Welcome back to the show, the channel, the video. <laughs> Guys, I have a little I have a little secret that I haven't told you. Just uh let's bring you a little closer here. I think I gotta whisper it. Just so so no one else knows. Guys, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm drunk. <laughs> That's not the secret. No, I, but I, <laughs> I mean, I am. No, I'm not. This is not drunk worthy, right? I've only had one seltzer. This is almost done here. So let me just. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh. Um, would you like some ASMR? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome back to the video. The secret is, uh, I got a Tinder. I got a Tinder. Don't tell anyone. This is my first dating app. I, I, this is like huge for me. My, my good friend, Pickle, made me get it. Uh, she forced me to download it. No, um, if you know Pickle, she was in the car uh, in a previous video. Um, by the way, I got my food here. I hope you're, hope you're here for the long run. We're gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna be hanging out tonight. And it's gonna be nice. Uh, cause I have a few things to talk about. Um, holy. We got a few things out of the way. One, I'm a little tipsy, a little topsy-turvy. Cheers. This is empty. All right. Um, number two, I got a Tinder. What's up? I'm single. Ladies. <laughs> hey. Did you swipe right on this face? Oh, come on. Be honest. Be honest. You would. Chicken sandwich. The best. Um... Consider this a little mukbang, but uh, more talking than eating. Don't chew with your mouth full. Sorry. Got a Tinder. Got a match. We'll talk about that. Um, and I also went to New York. What? I know. We got a few things to go through uh, tonight. Oh, shoot. I should probably... Okay. Now the mic is... Sorry. God, there's so much to take care of here. Um... I have to make sure the mic is catching my voice right. Um, but how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna try and get back to weekly uploads. Um, hopefully, we'll see. If it doesn't work, I mean, sorry, but I'm gonna try and get a video up every week. Um, now that I'm out of a show, if you don't know, um, my theater minor, I act on plays. I was in a play. Uh, on campus, um, and now that's over, um, incredible experience, and now I'm here, living life, you know, college, it's kind of weird just doing college and nothing else, you know, I always feel like I have something else going on, but actually, like, having time to do work and, like, study and stuff, by the way, what is studying, do people actually study, like, I, I get, I get when it's, like, a test where you have to, like, know things, but, a lot of the time, because I memorize my lines very easily. Let's let's do that. Like I, I, if I'm in a play, a lot of the time we rehearse the way the schedule is laid out. We rehearse enough with our lines, with our scripts in hand, to the point where it's so in my head that when I'm off script, I'm like 80% memorized because we've just rehearsed so much. And I feel like that's the same with classes. Like I feel like. I, for some reason, maybe this is not always the case, because um, I don't ace my tests um, all the time. Um, I'm an average student. Uh, but, um, so, what was I talking about? <laughs> no, uh, I got it. Just give me a second. Tests. So when I study for tests, I don't really study. I kind of just go in. <laughs> this is bad to put on the internet. Um... I have to be a good influence. Okay, good influence, good influence. Okay, ready? Here it is. 
study, right? If you think you need it. <laughs> For me, uh, I don't really study ever. I've never really seen the point because I just assume that the information is kind of, kind of like fed to us, just shoved into our brains uh, by the teacher, I mean that's the teacher's responsibility, to get into our brains enough to the point where, you know, if the lesson is memorable enough, the information will stick in my head. And, you know, writing it down also helps. Um, sorry. Um, I'm, <laughs> this is, I'm going to delete all this footage. I'm going to, I'm going to watch this tomorrow morning and I'm going to be like, yikes. What is this man? What is this man doing? This man should never drink again. Also, I feel, you know, I'm grateful because I, you know, I have parents that aren't like breathing down my neck about my grades. Every year. Um, shout out. My parents. They're super chill. Got a Tinder. Got a match. Tinder is kind of really different than what I was expecting. Because um, I'm not really on there for any serious purpose. I mean, I am talking to someone. But I was on there for the bit. It's in my bio. I'm on there for the bit. It literally says, on here for the bit, I think. Something like that. It's a joke. I'm not actually on there for like a serious purpose. Um, yeah, I am single, but whatever. Yeah, I I've just I've just been under the assumption that dating apps aren't really the way to go for a long-term relationship. But the thing that I figured out and realized very quickly when I downloaded the app and made a bio um, to Pickle's request. Um, if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. It's a good one. Um, Pickle made me download it and make a bio, and I quickly realized that when making a bio, it's like, oh, do you want short-term fun? Do you want short-term, but you could do long-term? Do you want long-term, but could do short-term? Or do you want long-term? Do you want just a long-term partner? Uh, you got the choice, and that's like great. That's so nice. I love that. Yeah, I made the bio, and I've been swiping. <laughs> it's like TikTok, basically, because um, you swipe. You, if you don't know the game, <laughs> you know, if you're a loser and don't have Tinder, uh, you basically, you you uh, make the bio, <laughs> and once you're out there, you know, you get, you know, you pick your type, and people show up, and you're like, swipe left if you're not interested, swipe right, right <laughs> if you are. So if I popped up, you'd be like, that was right. Left for you. So for you, it'd be like a, oh, Wilson? Phew. Boom! Boom! That would be you. But I'm not really on there to find any, like, real relationships. Like, I'm talking to people. I'm talking to one person, <laughs> and she's cool. I'm talking about movies, and, you know, we seem to have some common interests, which is nice. Um... And she lives nearby, apparently, so who knows? What, whatever. It doesn't really, I'm not really, like... It's not a huge priority right now. But Tinder overall is great. You're probably asking why. Okay, I'll tell you. So, why did I... <laughs> why did I get Tinder? I know, you know, I just said it's for the bit, and it is. <laughs> but I guess I'm not telling you the whole truth there. Um, you could say I'm a little down bad. <laughs> That's a phrase that I've heard around. <laughs> um, so, all right, a little, okay, a little research time here. What is <laughs> down bad? What does that mean? Let's look it up here. Urban Dictionary. See... <laughs> When someone is, <laughs> I can't say that. Um, all right, my mom is watching. Okay, I feel like we can all relate to being a little down bad, right? Because um, been a while since I've experienced the the touch of a woman. Oh, forget I said that. Uh, being down bad is the act of sacrificing your morals and reputation to try and interact with someone romantically.
Okay, um, taking that back, I am not down bad. Guys, I am not down bad. I'm not. Because this definition that I'm seeing right here, okay, third one. When you are so desperate for something that you lose all rational thought, used in a sentence, he was really down bad. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm not down bad, guys. I'm not. I'm not. Um, and you might not believe me when I say that, but I am. Now that I've put it into the world that I am down bad, or that I said that I am, that doesn't mean I am. That is... Shoot. Uh... <laughs> I'm not down bad. I'm not. I just got... Listen, I just got the app to see what it's like, right? Because, uh, like, right now, it's been more than a year since I've been in a relationship... When I think about it, I'm like, do I, do I, am I ready for love right now? And like, do I, am I actually ready to commit to a relationship right now? And I don't know. I don't know for sure the answer to that. I like to think that I'm in a place where I am like mature enough to handle the responsibility, I guess. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to be drunk right now. <laughs> I'm not drunk. Just look, okay. You get it. Moral of the story is I'm not down bad. At all. I just got a Tinder because I haven't been in a relationship and I'm talking to people, right? And Tinder is the perfect environment for it, right? You know, <laughs> haven't been in a relationship in a while and you're like, you know, feeling, feeling good about yourself and you download it and you get a bio and you make a bio and you're like, I'm, I, I am so hot. God, I look so good in this picture. And then you, you, oh, out into the world. And if you do happen to get a chat, then it's, it's on Tinder. So you have an excuse to use a stupid pickup line, right? In the name of having fun, no matter what you're looking for, a relationship or it's just fun, whatever, right? Me personally right now, what I'm looking for, just to have fun, right? Whatever, right? I want to get to know people and just have some fun and because... You know, whether I'm ready or not, that's just where my head's at, right? If I'm being honest. And, you know, maybe I'll, maybe tomorrow I'll be like, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to put a ring on it. <laughs> and I'm not even dating anyone. Um, something like that. I don't know. I just... My my rational thinking, my thinking changes every day. Um, so, yes. That's Tinder. What else is going on? Uh... Yeah, Tinder's great. I'll, I'll keep you updated with all that stuff, I guess. New York. I went to New York. New York! Bum, ba, na, na. I know. <laughs> oh, New York. I know. It's, uh... I finally, like, went. Because I, I talked in a previous video about my friend who lives in New York. Because I wanted to see his place. And, of course, you know, we were, uh, buddies when he was here in college, but of course he graduated, moved to New York, uh, yada, yada. Um, so yeah, it's been in the works for a while for me to go to New York. Um, little problem with going to New York. Uh, it's a four and a half hour drive. Not too bad. I'm used to long drives, but it's New York city. He lives in New York city. He, he, um, uh, not in Manhattan. He lives in, he lives in Brooklyn. Just give away his address here. <laughs> no. Um, I have to drive to Brooklyn, basically. So I was like, okay, let's call up my boy. Um, let's go to New York. And spend the night at his place. And so I let him know the day I was leaving. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, sick. So I, I finished my laundry. And I went up. And I completely underestimated the drive. Holy. Just city environments driving through those freaks me out absolutely freaks me out and you know i live about 45 minutes from chicago that's where i live um it's where my house is we go to chicago every now and then for for dinner or whatever to do something for a special occasion and oh my lord it's insane like there are no laws in the city i feel like i just feel like there is this is the wild west out there so it just, and like parking is it's just, I don't know, everything. It just freaks me out. Um, my food's getting cold. Um, so, 
you can imagine, I've avoided cities, city driving. Like if I were to live in New York, which I probably will, no car. <laughs> I don't want my car in there. <laughs> um, ideally. But at the same time, after this trip, I'm kind of chilling. I'll tell you about it in a second. So I go and I get to his place. We meet up. We have a good time. We go get some pizza and drinks and it's fun. Um, it was really great to see him. I started driving in New York. Like it was sort of a slow transition. Once you start hitting like the first or second accident. <laughs> first or second slowdown that was reported on Google Maps. Um, you're like, okay, all right, well, here we go. And then once you get into the city, once you get into the city, then it's like, whoa, I'm here. Okay, I, it's clear I'm in the city now. So <laughs> that's incredible. That Like that is, I don't know. It's, first of all, it's beautiful. My friend, he has a perfect view of the Empire State out of like the top of his place. And oh, so cool. Um, so yeah, awesome. It just feels so scenic, you know, like living in a city and, you know, just going to a coffee shop and opening up your laptop and just getting some work done. Having your AirPods in and, oh, I got to take a call. Boop, boop. Yeah, what's going on, Jennifer? Yeah. No, I'll be, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get to those papers. Totally. And you're just like multitasking? What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of a document. Yeah, yeah, totally. I'll email you right now. Okay, for sure. <laughs> I don't know how work works. I was telling my, my parents uh, the other day when I called them, uh, driving in New York, if you've never driven to New York, if you've never been to New York and you have a car, before you get to New York, you consider yourself a tourist, right? Because you're going to New York, you've never been there, you don't live there, you're just seeing the sights. Totally get it. It's totally fine, nothing wrong with that. But once you get into New York, I just, in my opinion, once you get into the heart of New York as a first-timer, and you, <laughs> you see the Wild West in front of you, just happening all at once, like the first, first red light you hit, it's just like boom, boom, boom. And then the gr light turns green and you're like, oh my God, go, go, go. The stampede is here. Um, I feel like as a first time driver in New York, which was me, I showed up and I almost feel like I immediately became a New Yorker simply because of the way I had to drive in those conditions. I kid you not. It was like a zoo. People were just going. <laughs> like, the light was red and people would just go. I mean, like, yeah, there's some semblance of law. <laughs> I mean, sure, most of the time. But when it's a green light on your end, that you just feel like everything's coming from behind you, right? And also when you're driving, but you're not always going to be on the main road. And, you know, once you get off the main road, there's instantly just like a semi truck just in front of you and you're like okay this is new york <laughs> i guess i just have to what do i do and you, <laughs> you know being from you know suburb suburbs and you know living where i am right now just in, in the middle of the woods you don't really get a lot of that <laughs> new york it's just everything just sort of like happens and you just have to get around it you just have to find a way around everything um so if you ever go to new york for the first time just just go by that um, cause it really is like all up in the air, right? People don't really know what they're doing. Um, cause again, the bikers just fly past you in the middle of the lanes and you really have to be careful not to hit them. Um, you, you really have to be careful not to hit normal people. There's constant honking. The honking does not stop. You know, the light, you're waiting for a light and the, the second the light turns green, you're going to get a honk behind you. And everyone's like, dude, why didn't you go? Why didn't you go a millisecond after the light turned green? It's like, I don't, sorry. <laughs> Clearly, I've never been here before. Um, you read my license plate? It's from Illinois. Um, so I, I'm glad I went. And uh, my guy, my New York man, if you're watching this, thank you again for having me over. Really appreciate it. Let's do it again sometime. Let's bring some folks up. Uh, yeah, good times. I'm glad I could do that. Life's pretty good. I got a Tinder. <laughs> And I am not down bad. I'm not. I promise. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching.
Um, if you made it to this point, holy, you're like a super fan. I love you so much. Um, kisses. Um, have a good night, morning, afternoon, whatever. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.